loads of fun, you feel like you're playing Mario Kart for real life. <laughs> We are up the canyon today, about to try out two of the off-road chairs in the snow. They've never been in snow before, so we are gonna test them out. Getting both bikes into the back of the truck was uh, a unique experience. I'll let you watch that. So we designed this off-road wheelchair to fit in the bed of a short bed pickup. This bed is uh, five feet long, and so it fits very snugly, but today we're gonna try to fit two of them in the back of my truck, which should be interesting. Normally you wouldn't have to do this, and it would be much easier if we had a trailer, but I think if we stack them just right, it should work out. Now is that the correct way to do it? Probably not, but it works. I recommend finding more than one person. And today should be interesting. I don't know how the bikes are gonna react in snow. It does have like the, the off-road knobby tires on them, but snow is a totally different ball game than pavement or, you know, like a dirt trail. Let's get started. Just latches in like that. Then the wheelchair just sits on the back like that and you can strap it in and it's uh, all in one package. So at the start of the trail, most of it's pretty packed snow, so I'm not super worried about it. Two things we have working to our advantage is A, the knobby tires and B, the solid rear axle where, you know, the rear tires won't spin independently of each other, so they won't lose traction on the snow. But after this initial steep slope, everything else is pretty flat, so we should be okay. All right. Got it. You ready to bring yours? Yeah. Now it's my turn. I weigh 205 pounds, quite a bit more than Cambry. So we'll see if the chair can handle me going up the hill. Come on, baby. Oh, that's not too bad. Nice little stroll through the winter wonderland. Oh, you racing? Yeah. I'm, I'm a little at, lighter than you. I'm at level nine. Oh, I'm at seven. You're only second. Still beating me. <laughs> yeah. A little fish tailing. So I'm currently maxed out at 10 miles an hour. up the mountain enjoying beautiful views. This is working much better than anticipated. The locked rear axle is a good choice and all of the bikes have that solid rear axle. Normally you see rear lockers on like off-roading Jeeps or trucks. My own truck has it as well. And now the off-road wheelchair has one. We're definitely max speed now. <laughs> so what do you think so far, Cambry? I think it's way fun. I think it's better than a snowmobile. I've once tried that and I was always afraid that my legs were gonna get burned. This is so much safer for my body and I love it. And what about the noise level? It's way less than the snowmobiles for sure. So you can enjoy nature a little bit better than you would on a lousy gas powered machine. <laughs> lousy, that's gonna have some angry comments. Ooh, it's getting deeper, I'm slowing down. Whoa! <laughs> Made it. It's a bit of a bumpy ride. Yeah, I think my heavier weight has more of an advantage in the snow because I just have more traction in the back tires. Yeah, I think he's weighing down more than I am. But if you had the chair on the back, that would help out your traction. But we're still going eight miles an hour. Whoa! <laughs> your back wheels are losing traction a little bit. I can feel them kind of like fishtail. Yeah, when the snow gets deeper. Yeah, it's fun though. I mean, they're not totally out of control, just a little crazy. You can do it, Cambry. You can do it. I think I can, I think I can. Well. Well, it's been fun. Yeah. It's been real fun. The snow's getting deeper. Oh no! I'm losing it again. Yeah, this is definitely it for me. And I'm dead. Come on. What well, seems to be the problem? I just needed a little slowdown time. Uh, the snow got a little deep, that's all. 
safety first. I'll race you back. Oof. How's that song go? I can't feel my face when I'm with you. Cambry, so we went off road. What do you think? In the snow, not just off road. This is true. I think it was a lot of fun. I haven't been out in the snow and had so much fun in a long time. <laughs> Downhill is where it's at. Uphill's a little slow and you feel a little bit like the engine that could. Isn't that? I think I can, I think I can. You're right, right. And slow as in like eight miles an hour uphill. Yeah. In packed snow, in loose snow, I don't think we'd no, have a we chance. No, we wouldn't make it. Downhill's like sledding, except for you have control over where you're going and you still have brakes. The brakes work really well. The brakes, yeah, are really, like I've never been scared on this trail yeah, thinking okay. I was going to slide off the side of the mountain. You stop almost still ride instantly. With caution. Right, of course. Wear a helmet. Loads of fun. You feel like you're playing Mario Kart, but it's real life. <laughs> All we need is some banana peels and some blue shells <laughs> <laughs> for when you're in the lead. It wasn't designed for the snow, but we've had a lot of fun with it today. I think it held up pretty well on packed snow. And the wheelchair on the back rack stayed on. I have it tied down with two little Velcro straps and then the uh, rear wheels just sit inside of those metal channels. We haven't needed to use the wheelchair on this trip though because it was kind of a shorter trip. It was mostly just to prove a point and see how much weight the, the off-road chair can handle. So I weigh about 200 pounds and the chair weighs about 30 I think and so the off-road chair is carrying 230 pounds right now. Plus my camera gear and stuff, I would put it around 250 pounds. We mentioned earlier that it's not loud, which is really nice. I think when you slow it down, you can really appreciate the nature that's going on around you. And we don't bother anybody else. Like no one has ever said anything in the year that we've been testing this about, you know, being annoyed or it being loud. It's just like a bicycle. For me, this is better than snowshoeing. <laughs> <laughs> So if you haven't seen the launch video, go watch that. These things are for sale right now. Whether you need a wheelchair or not, I think it's fun either way. Except for the part where we wrecked the drone, I think it went pretty well. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We'll be posting more videos about this and other projects. Come hang out with us on Instagram and Twitter. And thanks a ton for watching. We'll see you around. Here's one of those uh, noisy gas powered. That was like a motorized sled. Yeah, that's pretty cool.